was like a child in a sweet shop when I plunged my hand into the plastic bag full of badges and I saw the, the you know, the sheer variety of them. They're wonderful objects. person had collected them with an eye on the future, kind of understanding that at, it, at some point they would be of historic and cultural interest, especially, you know, um, of great relevance to the history of the LGBT civil rights movement. Badges for the Gay and Lesbian Switchboard, which was an incredible volunteer-run institution that kept, you know, young LGBT people um, safe and in contact with each other before the days of the internet. It was one that intrigued me that referred to um, promoting positive images of gays and lesbians in Harringay schools. You know, it seems that that campaign in Harringay sort of preceded and certainly related to you know, Section 28, which cracked down on um, the teaching about anything to do with homosexuality in schools. Children who need to be taught to respect traditional moral values are being taught that they have an inalienable right to be gay. I keep coming back to uh, a little pink badge um, and it just says on it, uh, gays are lovable. And it struck me that it was, at that time, it was a statement and it was a very brave statement to pin that to your chest and walk out into the street.